In the 1930s, the Soviet Union attempted to develop silenced firearms, but due to technological reasons, they did not make much progress for a long time. Either the silencing effect was not good, or the firearms had a short lifespan and little practical value. During the Great Patriotic War, the demand for silenced firearms increased again, and the designer Gurevich developed a special silenced revolver, which was named after the designer and called the Gurevich Silent Revolver. In the early stage of World War II, Soviet designers had already developed sealed silent ammunition, similar to the type widely used in Russian silenced firearms today. A piston was added to the cartridge case, and when the bullet was fired, the gas pushed the piston forward, which then struck the bullet and propelled it out, while also blocking gas and flash to reduce noise and eliminate the flash. However, in the early stages, due to processing technology and design, the piston needed to travel a certain distance inside the cartridge case before striking the bullet, and the force on the bullet was not strong. In addition, the bullet needed to pass through the barrel and experience friction, further weakening the force. How to better transfer the piston's movement ability to the bullet? Gurevich came up with a good solution. Gurevich filled the space between the piston and the bullet with water. When the piston moved forward, the water, which is hard to compress and therefore decreases in volume, could transfer the force directly to the bullet from the beginning of the piston's movement, allowing the bullet to fly farther. However, this led to a new problem. The Soviet Union's high latitude and long winters meant that low temperatures would cause the water inside the bullet to freeze, making the piston lose its movement space, and accidental firing was likely. Gurevich then added 60% alcohol to the water, which lowered the freezing temperature and made it suitable for most cold environments. This water with added alcohol was basically just liquor, which was a great relief for the heavy-drinking Soviet soldiers. Having a mini-bottle in the dead of winter would certainly be lovely. With new bullets came the need for new firearms. In 1944, Gurevich developed a new revolver based on the Nagant pistol, which is the type shown in the picture. It is a double-action revolver that fires 7.62mm caliber ammunition with a capacity of five rounds in the cylinder and is slightly larger in overall size. This pistol was not adopted by the Soviet Army because its overall performance was not sufficient. It had less stopping power than a regular pistol at a distance of 30-40 meters, and it emitted the smell of alcohol after firing, which was unacceptable for a special-purpose handgun. 